friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I post mostly lifestyle and vlog content and today I'm coming to you guys with my full skincare routine. This has been like a really highly requested video so I'm finally sitting down and showing you guys all the tips and tricks. I also want you guys to know I am not a professional, I'm not a dermatologist, but these are some things that I have learned just with my own skincare um, journey. Everyone is different in their skincare, different products work for different people, but I wanna share some products that have worked for me and a couple others that I've tried out that I know work for a bunch of other people, but that just weren't exactly right for me and all of these products are most of them are like seven or eight dollars i think there's one that's like twenty dollars but it's like the best product <laughs> the, it like was a game changer so i'm pretty much going to take you through my routine so i'm going to go from the morning all the way to night just kind of going along in chronological order of every product that i use and kind of explaining it and i'll also have some clips of me using it so you guys can have a little bit more of an idea how to use it i a little bit about my background with like my skincare i was prone to acne like it wasn't extremely bad but i would just get like pimples and zits just like randomly like all the time like for no reason i had no idea why i would try all different skincare products i tried like the whole clinique line which was like stupid expensive um and even that like really didn't work all that well um i'll like show some clips here of kind of some pictures that I took like along the way with my skincare journey. I'm not saying like my skin is perfect whatsoever, but I I haven't really had breakouts in a long time, even like during that time of month, which would always be like extremely bad for me, but I'm still like working on it and I'm probably gonna switch up the routine a little bit now that I've kind of controlled a bit of the acne um and the breakouts so this skincare routine is kind of geared more towards like the breakouts and everything but there's a couple products that i'm going to mention that i'm going to probably start working into my skincare routine to kind of see how my skin reacts to it and make see if the breakouts still stay away even when i switch a little bit of them up but real quick if you want to see more vlogs and day in the life and other lifestyle videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is coming out but for now i'm going to start with my morning routine so basically the first thing that i do this is not every single morning but it would be like the first step if you're starting off is actually using a derma blade tool it's basically like a razor for your face <laughs> i know that sounds like kind of crazy and you just go along your face and basically it takes off all the little like baby hairs even the dead skin it's like a really great exfoliant and that's gonna help your products actually penetrate your skin so much more and then you get more of the benefit from it i probably do that like once a week maybe every other week i don't do it every single day and i would not recommend that um but that would be kind of like the first thing that I would do. Then I would go in with a cleanser. I like the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser for normal skin. I would consider myself to have more normal skin. I wouldn't say it's like an oily or super dry. It's kind of like in between. There's definitely some days where it is more dry or a little bit oily or oily or like in the summer and that kind of thing. So you kind of like have to think about what your skin actually needs but this is a great super gentle um, cleanser for acne and salicylic acid is one of the best things that you can do for your skin and for acne i've tried a bunch <laughs> honestly i've tried so many skincare products and that's why i feel like i can talk about this because i have tried so many but the CeraVe, honestly anything from CeraVe is amazing. Super clean, super good products. It's free of mechanical exfoliants and it has salicylic acid, vitamin D, and it's fragrance free. I think a really big thing that I learned is not to use products with fragrance because your skin doesn't need that and that can often be irritating or make your skin red. And with anyone, honestly, any of these products could potentially be irritating to your skin depending on what your skin type is and if your skin is more sensitive than not. So just like 
don't jump in with all the products at once i would slowly start to add them see if they work for your skin and if your skin like ever burns or feels super super dry after i'd recommend trying to find something a little bit different or find something for dry skin or for sensitive skin and the next thing you should go in with is a serum so all of like the water-based serums this is a hyaluronic acid from the ordinary the ordinary you've honestly probably seen it all over but it is one of the best things that you can do to start your skincare journey because they're super clean healthy products and then you might want to go into stronger products but i would start and that's kind of what I did. I started with some of these serums. So hyaluronic acid is really good for hydrating your skin. It keeps your skin barrier really hydrated and moisturized, which a lot of people don't realize that they might actually need more moisture in their skin, which is kind of surprising. Sometimes you would think the opposite. You need to like dry it out. But I found that hydrating my skin was really beneficial. And one thing with hyaluronic acid, I'll like show pictures of it here, but basically you want to put it on your skin, but then I also like basically run my hands underwater and then I go in because it's best to use with water. And after that, sometimes I like let it sit for a little bit or I'll gradually do my skincare routine. But then next I'll go in with the niacinamide from The Ordinary and both of these products are like, I believe seven, maybe eight dollars and they last like a couple months I believe for me but the niacinamide is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula this is really good if you have acne prone skin as well and it actually basically in a sense it takes in moisture and brings it into your skin which is amazing and both of these products are super lightweight you barely feel feel them on your skin and they really penetrate your skin well and nourish it and then next i actually go in with an eye cream and this is a new one that i picked up from the inky inky list line it's the caffeine eye cream so i use more of a caffeine eye cream in the morning and a deep moisturizing eye cream at night and this is a really great one you can use it in the am and pm what you can do is actually put this in the fridge <laughs> Or if you have like a mini skincare like fridge that you can put on your desk and those are like really popular You can put that in there that way. It's super hydrating and it just feels so good to put on your eyes and it helps depuff them as well But I've been really liking this. It's super lightweight as well. That's why I like to wear it like during the day and then lastly Sunscreen the most important if you were to do anything I would do cleanser sunscreen. That's all maybe all you need but i've been loving 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 the super goop unseen sunscreen it has spf 40 and it is water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes it's a clean chemical sunscreen reef safe non-irritating nonsense and it has no synthetic fragrances and it's vegan and it honestly like it's unseen like like it says when you put it on it does not feel like sunscreen it really doesn't even smell like sunscreen and it has zero white cast so you're not going to get that white like undertone when you put on some sunscreens and it's super lightweight I'll, like you can probably see it in the video here and it just like melts into your skin and honestly I will probably never use any other sunscreen on my face other than this because it is so good. And I actually just picked up the body sunscreen from Super Goop and I've been loving that as well. Very much worth the investment. I think actually this one is probably $30. So this is probably the most expensive thing, but it's probably the most important thing as well. So that is my current morning routine. Something else that you can add and that I'm probably going to be adding and switching up is actually a vitamin C. A vitamin C is really good to use in the morning, but right now vitamin C doesn't really react well with I believe it's a hyaluronic acid and that's why I haven't been using it it just really helps brighten and it takes away a lot of the redness in your skin as well also I want to mention a another morning moisturizer with SPF that I really like it's a CeraVe AM facial moisturizing lotion with SPF 30 and in this bottle it has three essential 
ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid, and it's oil-free. I really did enjoy this one, but it just felt like sunscreen on my face. It wasn't my favorite product, but I know a ton of people love this, and I did really enjoy this until I tried the Super Goop, but this one is a really cheap option. I believe this one might be $10. So then when I get home from work, I kind of start my night routine. I like to like slowly do my night routine. That way each product kind of has its time to like penetrate the skin. It honestly probably doesn't matter, but that's just kind of my routine. So kind of the first thing that I do when I get home, if I am wearing makeup, I take it off with the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water. This is the best makeup remover I've ever tried. It takes off even waterproof mascara super super easy and I honestly do this even when I'm not wearing makeup I'll just go over just like a deep cleanse on my face and I also use these reusable cotton rounds I got them off of Amazon one side is a little bit more exfoliating a little more rough but not but still super soft and then the other side is very soft and that's what I use on my eyes for my eyelashes to take off my mascara. Usually I actually go in with my Mount Lai. It's their Calming Herbal Repair Facial Massage Balm with Pure Bromwell Root. So this is like very much an optional thing and it's more for my gua sha tool that I've been using. I don't use this and I don't do the gua sha tool every single night, but if I were to, I would put it at the beginning of my routine. But as you've seen like in other videos, like I use this gua sha tool to like lift and sculpt my face and this just helps like glide the tools on my face and it does have some really good ingredients in it for your skincare routine but this was definitely like it's an optional thing because i started to use this after i've kind of got rid of my acne using the other products but this is also something that i use on my face and i also use their amethyst facial roller all of these products are from mount Lai, and they are a small business and i'd very much recommend shopping with them but this this is so soothing and it's supposed to like help depuff, but the amethyst is like cold and I just keep it in this box like on my nightstand and it is just like the most relaxing thing. I'm thinking about doing like a whole video for my gua sha tool. Let me know if you'd like to see that because I've actually seen some like amazing results for it and it's really fun to use. So after I do that, if I use it, I go in with a different salicylic acid cleanser. This one's from the Inky List. And sometimes I use like the CeraVe one. I kind of mix it up a little bit, but this is one of my favorites because I noticed that it has more salicylic acid in it, so it's stronger. Um, sometimes if my skin is already super dry, I will go in with the CeraVe cleanser rather than this one because this one can kind of be more drying. It definitely doesn't dry out my skin, but it can be if my skin's already a little more sensitive and drying. So this next thing is definitely not necessary if you're first starting off with your skincare routine but if you've gone through done the serums like really cleaned up your skincare routine you might want to talk to a doctor and try to get a prescription i was able to pick up the clindamycin clindamycin phosphate gel um and it has it's basically an antibacterial and it has helped my skin a lot i had been using these other products consistently it definitely helped my skin but i was still getting some of those breakouts and it was hard for them to go away and once i started using this it really really made a difference i would definitely look into that if you've been on your own skincare journey and it can be frustrating you've tried so many different products I might want you might want to go talk to your doctor and try to get a antibacterial but before I was using that I actually picked up the different gel it has I'm gonna butcher these names but andapiline gel um, which is an acne treatment this was something that really changed my skincare routine before I started using the antibacterial I 100% saw so many changes to my skin i wasn't getting as many blemishes you can pick this up at target this is probably the most expensive one i believe 
was like $20 but i only use this in the pm because it can make you really sensitive to the sun and so i just use it in the pm but these two together i like did a lot of research to see if i can actually put them together and it was actually very much recommended if you are struggling with acne and i never had any irritation with any of these products you definitely want to do like spot tests on them because they are stronger products but i didn't have um, any drying or irritation from them whatsoever and you want to use the antibacterial first i usually let that definitely sit for like a couple minutes and then i go in with the different gel and they have a smaller kind of sample size of this that's not quite as expensive that I used before I went in with the bigger product. But this lasts me, I've been probably using this for like over a month now and it's not even like halfway gone. And then the next step, I usually go in with my moisturizer. So the eye cream that I use is actually this Clinique one. I've had this for a long time when I was like using like all the Clinique products if that works for you it works for you it just did not work for me but I do really like their um, all about eyes rich um, eye cream it reduces circles deep puffs and anti-ages your under eyes this is a really strong moisturizer that I actually really liked but this is like $33 so I'm just using this until it's gone and then I'm gonna find like a different eye cream probably from the inky list or like CeraVe or something like that because honestly I don't need to spend $33 on an eye cream you can just use like a thicker moisturizer you can honestly just use your moisturizer for your under eyes if in my opinion so that leads into the moisturizer that I use I really like the CeraVe um, moisturizing cream I even like this for like my body as well and I actually put in a couple drops of the Isle of Paris light self tanning drops I do like three or four drops of this in the moisturizer and then I put it on my face and I found that this like doesn't break me out or anything and I have also used the micro point for blemishes because it has salicylic acid in it and this was definitely a little more expensive, but it really helped because it has like kind of little needles, like it's not that dramatic or anything, but it helps like get into your blemish a little bit more and then it put basically puts in salicylic acid into it to help reduce it even faster. And so I definitely recommend picking up some of these for when you do have like those blemishes or um, if I have one that pops up here or there, I definitely like put this on right away, leave it on overnight and you're usually good to go and if you do it for like two days it's almost completely gone so another thing that you can use as like a spot treatment is i actually really recommend the clinique um it's the acne solutions clearing gel and this lasts forever i believe it's like 20 maybe 30 but i would definitely go with like the other blemishes first especially if you're looking for more affordable skincare but this, you just like put like a little dot of it on your acne and it helps a lot with that. Sometimes I'll put this on and then I'll put the blemish on top and it works super well. Or I use the patches at night and then put this on in the morning just to help um, keep something on it basically 24-7. And then some facial masks that I've been using that I really like. I like the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. It is kind of like a charcoal mask and it really just helps your skin and definitely with any mask don't leave it on longer than it says because it can be extremely drying or irritating to your skin and if you're using it for the first time I would do it for like almost half the time spot treat it in just one area to see how your skin reacts especially with this one this I'm sure you've probably seen it but it's a it's a AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution I would be extremely careful with this I personally did not like this product but I know so many people had really good success with it and basically it's an extremely exfoliating solution it's from the ordinary as well um and this i believe you only leave it on for like 10 minutes but i would recommend like 
almost five to seven because for at least for my skin it really dried it out and irritated it but I know for other people it doesn't so if you're looking for a good exfoliating mask I would try this but also kind of be careful with it but this was like six dollars I believe and then another great product is actually a zeliac acid this would be really good for someone who has acne scars because this can take away like your dark spots or basically those scars because it basically is formulated to brighten your skin I used this for a while and I really liked it but I focused more on other products but this might be something I add back into my skin to care routine soon another thing that I actually don't use is a toner so that's something you would use after you cleanse I personally just haven't found one that I liked um, I know a lot of people like the glycolic acid toner it helps reduce the appearance of pores but this one irritated my skin which it's from the inky list they have great products but like i said some products just don't work for everyone but this is a really popular one and a toner would be really good for ph balance on your skin as well but i personally just right now don't use one um but i would recommend this one also two last things that i think can really help elevate your skincare routine is a really basic one but drink a lot a lot of water i've started the last week to drink a gallon of water a day and i'm sure it's definitely helping my skincare routine as well i actually got this gallon water bottle from amazon and i bring it around with me it's like my comfort water bottle um but it definitely helps as well something else that we changed a while back a couple months ago was actually our shower head we noticed that our water was really hard and it had like a lot of things that we don't want in it so i got a shower head off of amazon it also pushes out vitamin c so it helps like nourish the water and take out a bunch of those things that we just don't need or want in our water so that definitely like one helps your skin but also helps your hair a lot too and even if you struggle with like acne on your body which almost all of us do there's no shame in that that can also help as well and honestly you can use any of these products on your back or anywhere that you have acne because it it's acne it can help anywhere it doesn't have to be like a special like body acne product so yeah that is the end of my skincare routine i hope you guys got some good information or inspiration from this to just start your skincare journey and it can be extremely affordable most of these products like i said were like seven dollars um maybe ten dollars and they last a long time and if you slowly like gradually buy some of the products and then if you do have money to spend on like getting like the different gel or even um, an antibacterial that can help as well but I would just first start working on just cleaning up your skincare routine and they can be like anything honestly from CeraVe or the Inky List or from The Ordinary because they are really good products and those are ones that I personally recommend because they have helped my skin a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe and like down below because it really helps boost my channel with the YouTube algorithm. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.